This lesson is to teach subtraction with regrouping. Subtraction is the inverse of addition. It's the opposite of addition. It shows the difference between two numbers. The difference is the answer to a subtraction problem. When subtracting two numbers, you're taking one amount from another amount. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have five oranges minus three oranges. One, two, three, four, five oranges minus three oranges. Well, we know that the minus sign is the opposite of the plus sign. So I know that I'm not going to put these two together to make eight oranges. Instead, I'm going to subtract one, two, three, because I have five to start with, and I'm going to eat three oranges. Or maybe me and my sister and my brother, we're going to eat one, two, three. We're going to eat three oranges. So if you have five oranges minus three oranges, you're left with two oranges. Again, this is subtraction, you're taking away. The minus sign is the opposite of the plus sign. The first method we're going to look at is subtracting using base 10 blocks. We have our blocks up here. I also have a few examples to show you. So let's review our place value. We have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. I've only chosen to go up to ten thousands today so that we can fit it all on the board and see what we're really looking at, how we're really subtraction, subtracting these numbers. So if we look at the ones place, this little block with your manipulative, this little teeny block represents one. This represents one. This rod has ten of these so here's the rod. There are 10 of these ones in a 10 rod. Then you have your, what well, looks kind of like a waffle. You have 10 of these rods that fit into the waffle. So you can see the waffle, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rods. We know that there's 10 in here, so 10 times 10 is 100. So this represents the hundreds place. Again, we have ones, tens, hundreds. Then it gets even bigger. If we take 10 of these and glue them all together, you're going to end up with the big one, the huge cube. So it takes that smaller cube and makes it bigger. And even further, if we take 10 of these cubes and glue them all together, you'll have your ten thousands place. So you have your ones, your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, and your ten thousands. Now what I've done, what I've done for each of these, I've drawn what's already there. So let's take a look at what we're subtracting. 23,462 minus, and you can see the minus sign over here, that's very important, 11,681. Well you always want to start at the ones place. You always want to start at the ones place. So I like to put a star over here just to remind myself, start subtracting or adding for that matter in the ones place. So you have two. You get your two ones out and they want you to subtract one of the ones. All you have to do is, if you have enough up here, go ahead and subtract. And we do, so we have how many left? We have one left. Let's move over to the tens place. If you have six tens, because again, this is in the tens place, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you want to subtract eight tens, you cannot do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to cross this, and you have to regroup. You have to go grab a waffle and split it up into ten tens. So we're going to take one of those away and we're going to break it up into 10 little 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
10. So we have 6 plus 10, we have now made that 16 tens. So now we can do it. We have 16 tens minus 8 tens. So if we go ahead and subtract 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have enough. We can subtract 8. Let's count how many we have left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 16 tens minus 8 tens is 8. Then let's look at our hundreds place. We have, oh, hold on. We don't have 4 anymore. We have 3 hundreds. So I need to change that to a 3. Okay, so we have 3, three hundreds. And we need to subtract six hundreds. Well, you can't do it because you only have three. If you have three, you can't take away six. One, two, three. We can't take away six. So you have three. We've got to regroup. So if you cross out this three, you're going to take one of those big yellow ones. You're going to take this and divide it back up. You're going to turn that three. You're going to take one, turn it into a two and you're going to give it to your hundreds. So take 1,000, turn it into 10 hundreds. So I'm going to draw 10 Let's make sure we have 10 hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. So we took one of the thousands, added it to the hundreds place. So you have now 10 plus 3, you have 13 hundreds. So 13 hundreds, now we can subtract 6 hundreds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because we already had taken that one away from, to give it to the tens place. So now we have how many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So uh, 13, oh, let's make that a 13. Let's review. Okay, so we have 13. Let's make that a 13. And then we have now how many left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we know that 6 minus 13 is 7. Now, on to our hundreds place. And you know, as you're doing this, manipulatives help you to visualize it. Anyone can go ahead and subtract, but if you don't quite understand what's going on, with regrouping, taking this, splitting it into 10, taking this one, splitting it into 10, taking this, splitting it into 10, then, you know, it, it's not, you're not, your mind isn't going to grasp it as much as if you actually can visualize it. And it's not for everyone, but this method might help you. Now we have 2 minus 1. We know that 2 minus 1, if you take 1 away, is 1. And then again, we have two ten thousands minus one one thousand, and we have one. So 23,462 minus 11,681 is equal to 11,781. Number two, the sugar method. This one's fun. Okay, so we have the sugar method. I like to think I'm baking a cake. So I call it my sugar method. I have cups of sugar, cups of sugar. This is the ones place. I have bags of sugar, like you buy in the store, a bag of sugar, which has 10 cups, representing the tens place. I have a box of sugar, which has 10 tens, or 10 bags in the box, which represents the hundreds place. I have a shelf of sugar, which has 10 boxes representing thousands place. And then I have a truckload. If I need a whole lot of sugar for a lot of cakes, I have a truckload. So let's say the truckload, because it has 10 shelves worth, it, has, it represents the 10 thousands place. So let's go ahead and look at um, this problem. So we have 34,178 minus, again, look at your sign, 12,593. So we have eight cups of sugar. We need to subtract three cups. So we have eight cups of sugar in the cabinet. 
we only need to use three for our cake business today. So okay, we can go ahead and do that. One, two, three. So we of course, one, two, three, four, five. Eight minus three is five. We had enough there, we didn't have to regroup. Let's look at the next section. Now we're going over. Seven minus nine. Seven bags. That's all we have in our cabinet. We need nine bags. We do not have enough because you have to subtract one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we don't have nine up there already. So we've got to go ahead and take one from uh, the hundreds place or from the boxes. We're going to take the box, we're going to split it up into ten bags. So now that becomes 17 and that becomes zero. So now we can do 17 bags minus nine bags. That's, that works. So take away nine bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that were already there. Eight, nine. And that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 17 minus nine is indeed eight. Makes sense. Now we're planning to cook a lot of cakes, to bake a lot of cakes for maybe a wedding or maybe several weddings. So we need a box of sugar. We actually need five boxes. So let's look at what this says. Zero minus five. We have zero to start with and we are trying to subtract five. We can't do that. So we have to go over to the shelf. We have to take one of the shelves away and we have to um, turn it into 10 boxes. So the four is going to become a three. And this one we took away from that. So the four is going to become a three. And we're going to add 10 shelves. Or 10 boxes, excuse me. We're going to add 10 boxes, not shelves. We took one shelf, split it up into 10 boxes of sugar. So now we have, not zero, but now we have 10 boxes. Are you following? So we started out with this one. We had to take it, split it up, turn it into a zero, split it up and give it to the seven. And now when it's time to go take this five boxes, well, we started with zero, so now we have to come to the shelves, take one of the four shelves away, turn it into a three, one, two, three, and split the, sh the, t the shelf of 10 boxes into the 10 boxes over here. So now we have zero becomes a 10. Now we can subtract 10 minus five, of course, one, two, three, four, five equals one, two, three, four, five. Onto the thousands place or onto the shelves of sugar. Whew, I noticed that we have three shelves available in the grocery store and we only need two. Whew. Let's go ahead and do three minus two. One, two, we still have one left over. Three minus two is one. Again, we need a, a lot of sugar. We need three truckloads or we need one truckload and we have three. So three minus one truckload. That's easy enough. Three minus one is one, two. So 34,178 minus 12,593 is equal to 21,585. I like to call this the sugar method because we're baking cakes thinking of it as sugar instead of just as your normal um, tens, hundreds, thousands, base 10 blocks. The third um, and final method I'm going to show you today in this lesson is the subtraction pro problem, the subtraction poem. So I like to, I love poems, I love songs as you know already. Um, so I filmed this and it has worked wonders for me, so I know it'll work great for you um, when subtracting a no normal number. A lot of times we don't have time, we're on a test, we aren't able to get out our manipulatives and pull those out, or we're not able to write a whole story about baking a cake, 
So for those times that you need to be able to do this on a worksheet or on a problem on a test, or maybe just um, in line with the grocery store, you need to do it really quick to make sure that they give you their correct change, things like that, then you'll know how to do it. So it goes something like this. More on top, no need to stop. More on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Again, think back to that sugar problem and the base 10 blocks. Everything comes in tens. So if you go look at your problem, 58,683 minus 400 or 46,896. So you have to decide is there more on top or more on the floor? That's your first decision. So we can look here at 3 minus 6. Always start in that ones place. So 3 minus 6, there is, oh, let's see, 3, 6. There's more on the floor. So I need to grab my green marker. There is more on the floor. So I'm going to have to go next door and get 10 more. So my 8, my 80, or my 8 tens becomes 7. And I'm going to give it to the 3 because it says more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. So my 3 is going to become 13. 13 minus 6. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So six, 13 minus 6 is 7. Let's look at the tens place. 7 minus 9. Again, I can't do it. Well, let's see why. Do I have more on top? The 7 or more on the floor? More on the floor. Again, grab my green marker. 7 minus 9. So there's more on the floor. Go next door. Get 10 more. The 6 becomes a 5. And then give it to the 7. 17. 17 minus 9. For those of you mental math students, 17 minus 9 is 8. Look at the next one. 5 minus 8. Oh my goodness, is there more on the top or more on the floor? Well, more on the floor again. A lot of regrouping. So we've got to take, go next door, take a 10 from that. So 8 becomes a 7. The 5 becomes a 15. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7. Then we have 7 minus 6. Whew, more on top. All right, I get to use my purple. More on top, no need to stop. Seven minus six is one. Again, five minus four, more on top, no need to stop. Five minus four is also equal to one. So 58,683 minus 46,896 is equal to 11,787. your turn, you know you need to try this at home. So, number one, write down the following problem. 82,463 minus 65,985. Number two, choose one method from this lesson to find the difference between the two numbers. You may use the base 10 blocks method, you may use the sugar method, you may use the poem, it's your choice. But look at number three. Be sure to follow the same steps. I want you to follow the same steps as I did in the video for the method you choose. So even if you choose the sugar method, you need to draw pictures, you need to um, X out those bags of sugar, X out whatever it is that you're subtracting. And if you use the poem, I would like you to use two different colors, circle the more on top, more, more on the floor, whichever, and try whatever it was your favorite method today. I want you to bring your notes and this problem, this problem, to class. Remember to show your work. Again, this was subtraction with regrouping.